The 12 kilowatts 15 kilowatt hour system. Floor installation. Prepare these standard tools and take appropriate safety precautions. Prepare conduit fittings with specifications of 1/1/2 and 1/2 inch for the wiring of the inverter. Choose installation location. Prioritize installation near the distribution box to minimize conduit installation. It is recommended to install in a dry and ventilated location. Do not install near downspouts, automatic sprinklers, and faucets to avoid direct contact with water. Avoid direct sunlight, rain, and snow accumulation. Ensure that the product does not obstruct vehicle access. Space, clearance, and angle. The 12 kW 15 kW hour system has a total height of 64 inch. A total length of 33.3 inch and a total depth of 7.9 inch. Its total weight is 458.6 pounds. The 12 kW 15 kW hour system should be placed horizontally and kept vertical during installation. Maintain at least a 12 inch clearance on the left, right, and top sides of the product to ensure adequate ventilation for cooling. Ensure there is enough space on the right side of the product for connection to the distribution box. When installing a product with a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours or more, install it in double tower. For installation, maintenance and cooling convenience, it is recommended that the clearance between battery clusters be greater than 12 inch and less than 39 inch. Installation. The 12 kilowatts 15 kilowatt hour system consists of one 12 kilowatts inverter, three 5.1 kilowatt hour batteries, and one X accessory package. The product installation requires at least two qualified and trained personnel. Move the box to the installation site and open it. Refer to the packing list and check the items. Fold marking off template, one along the dotted line and place it on the ground. Mark the positioning holes of the base. Align them and place the base. Use a level to check if the base is level. If not, adjust the base's leveling feet to make it level. Place marking off template 2 on the top of the base vertically and mark the battery mounting holes. Use an M10 drill bit. Align with the hole positions and drill. Install expansion bolts. Place the battery onto the base and secure it. Open the left side door of the battery and remove the base cover plate. Secure the battery to the base and the wall. Secure the battery to the base and the wall. Take out the marking off template, too, and fold along the dotted line. Place marking off template, too, on the battery and mark the positioning holes. Drill the holes and install the expansion bolts. Align the positioning holes on both sides of the battery and stack it on top. Secure this battery to the battery underneath and the wall. Next, install the remaining batteries in the same way as the second battery does. After installing all the batteries, install the main control box. 
Similarly, align the main control box with the positioning holes of the batteries and then stack it on top. Fold along the dotted line to align the marking off template, 3. Place it on the main control box, and mark the positions of the 8 holes. Use an M13 drill bit. Drill the hole and install the plastic expansion anchor. Take out the inverter bracket with the arrow pointing upwards. Then, secure the bracket to the wall. Mount the inverter onto the bracket. Secure the inverter to the main control box. The left side of the battery has positive and negative battery output terminals and communication interfaces. On the left side of the main control box, there are battery positive and negative input interfaces and communication interfaces. On the right side of the main control box, there are battery system output terminals, a communication interface, a switch button, and a circuit breaker. On the right side of the inverter, there are five ports with a diameter of 1.93 inch which are used for PV, generator, grid, and load. There is also a 0.65-inch port for CT connection. At the bottom of the inverter, there is a pair of positive and negative cables for connecting to the main control box. Additionally, on the right side of the inverter, there is an RSD switch, a PV switch, and a stick logger interface. Remove the front panel of the inverter. Disconnect the connection cable of the screen. These four terminals are used for grid connection. The anti-reverse function requires a CT, current transformer, which should be installed downstream of the grid meter. CT1 should be installed on the L1 wire, and CT2 on the L2 wire, with the arrows on the CT pointing toward the grid. Connect CT1 and CT2 to this terminal. These three terminals are used for generator connection. These three terminals are used for load connection. Sun Series supports four separate MPPT inputs. When connecting the wires, make sure to identify the positive and negative terminals. Strip 3 8 inch of insulation layer from the end of each wire. Insert it into the terminal and crimp. Sun Series supports whole home backup and partial home backup. Disconnect the PV switch. Press the emergency stop button. Battery system wiring. The batteries are connected in series. The positive terminal of the main control box is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. The negative terminal of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the next battery, and so on. The negative terminal of the last battery is connected to the negative terminal of the main control box. Connecting communication cables. The COM-H interface of the main control box is connected to the COM-L interface of the battery. The COM-H interface of the battery is connected to the COM-L interface of the next battery, and so on. Open the right cover, connect the power cables and communication cables of the inverter and the main controller, and lock the waterproof connector of the communication cables. Power on test. Release the emergency stop button clockwise, close the PV switch, 
close the circuit breaker, press the activation button for 5 seconds, and wait for the inverter to start up. When the screen lights up, the system is running normally. Install the right side cover of the battery. Install the left side guard of the MCB. Install stick logger. App setting. Base on iPhone operating system. Open the app store. Search for Roypow and download the app. Open the Roypow app once the download is complete. Select, allow, and enable, WLAN and cellular, in the pop-up. Tap, sign in. Enter information as prompted. After reading the privacy policy, tick to agree. Tap, sign in, to complete registration. Enter account number and password and tap, login. It will automatically jump to create site page. Enter the information as prompted and tap the Create button to complete the creation. The SN code is located on the label on the left side of the inverter. Tap the Plus button in the upper right corner to add the inverter, and then enter or scan the SN code of the inverter. Enter a custom name. Tap the Add button below to complete the addition. Since there is no network connection, the app prompts device did not reply, please try again. Tap more, settings, Wi-Fi configs. Scan the QR code on the stick logger, enter the Wi-Fi account number and password you need to connect to. Tap configure to complete the setup.